what do I have here? It's another addition to my security ring chime. And this isn't the pro version. I was considering pro version, but there is there is no difference really. There is a light underneath, it's a bit bigger, and it's got dual you know connectivity. You can connect to two uh, 0.4 gigahertz and, and five gigahertz. Really? I believe that's all, and I didn't find anything, you know, warranting me spending more money on that. So, here it is, a quick unboxing. Uh, it's becoming a series, and it will become a series of video of unboxing ring products due to the fact that I need to make my home secure. As, as I mentioned in the previous video, if you didn't see, go and watch them, uh, someone attempted breaking. There is no point breaking into me because I've got nothing. But I need to capture it next time. Anyway, moving on. That's the box. That's the side of it. That's the back. It has in-home alerts, has multiple chime tones, volume control, variety of variety, no variety, no whatever. Priority. No. <laughs> what? It has a multiple choices <laughs> of classical seasonal tones. Yeah. Do not disturb me mode. Yeah. Isn't that just I unplug it? Doesn't make sense to me. But who cares? Now, it has notifications on top. Let's open that bad boy. Let's see how it looks. So we just slice it open. Come on. Yep. Ooh, it's got an insert. Whoa. Multiple inserts. All right. So, what's in the first insert? Who knows? Let, let me let me guess. I think it is a plug adapter. Let's see. Wow, I was right. All right, no, just kidding. Anyway, it has for UK market. It has two, which is. Uh, a standard European plug and UK plug. And what's uh, handy actually with this UK plug that they send with that, like with the Dorbo Pro 2, that one did not have this small writing here which says push. Yeah. And that's actually necessary to know that you need to push it to slide it down and to slide it in. You don't have to slide it in, you don't have to, but to slide it out, to change it, you need to push that in. So, thank you. We've got them two. We have some instructions, I believe. Some paperwork. Yeah. Ring chime, quick start guide. It's a second generation one. Forget to mention, sorry. Yeah, and warranty terms and conditions. Instruction of what to do. That's just electrical waste. Information here. Now, let's pull that out. That's what it is. Let's take it out. And this is all empty space. So basically, a lot of space, a lot of wasted space on the pallet that went from manufacturer to every single Amazon warehouse. And instead of wasting all of that space, they could have shrinked the packaging and put way more on the pallet. Saving fuel, transferring more products at once, 
and as well saving our planet little by little no worthy now there it is that's the ring chime it's not much bigger than the power brick for the actual Vito Dorbel. Have a look. Wow. I was expecting this to be bigger. Actually, I did not look at the size of it. It's there on the web. And I could have looked. But yeah, actually, it is thinner than the brick itself. Which is kind of cool. And when I insert this, so like I said, this goes on. This can go only one way. It can go one way that way, can go the other way. Yeah. So that's the only way you'll be able to put that in. And it just slides in like so. There was no noticeable click, which is kind of funny. It should be, I think. But it's firmly there. Well, is that firmly, firmly? Have a look and judge yourself. I don't think this is very firmly in there. Let me squeeze that. Yeah. It still moves about. The play isn't that big, but still moves about. And we talking about We're talking about, you know, AC voltage. Yeah, anyway, moving that aside, we put that in. As you can see, this is still smaller. Yay. That's good. The less space it takes, the better. It's pretty well made. It's it's pretty nice actually. It has the mesh at the front. So when you connect this way, setup of your plug is against something that sticks out. Yeah. Then this you can connect it only that way. Boom. If you have a plug very high up to something like here and there is something on the top of it and it's actually set it up like this you might not be able to put it in so let's take those measurements for you so you know what to prepare for and we're talking about thirty six point seventy two millimeters which is we just moved 1.44 of an inch of clearance yeah if you ground prong it's on the top it's a facing bottom then you have nothing to worry unless it's right next to the bottom which is the floor and you can't do it then so you have that clearance so this clearance is something that they should say because all over the Britain, people are installing sockets however they like. Yeah. Anyway, that's all you get, basically. Bunch of cardboard, two connectors. This was helpful to you. If it was, please consider just leaving me a like. I would be eternally grateful. Consider writing to me if you think I effed up something. And if you think I didn't, consider writing to me too. I like reading um, comments, especially from people who decide to go on and watch my video. It really means something to me. Um, whether I catch their eye with the thumbnail or whether they decided to stick with uh, my voice and my ugly face stupidity that I you know give you when I speak I appreciate that I 
for a video. So thank you.